Hello. The following video will demonstrate the key functionality of the practicum exam platform. The practicum exam includes three case studies, one for large commercial, one for small commercial, and one for residential. Each case study has 40 questions associated with it. At the beginning of each case, you're given the opportunity to review the case study. The case study and supporting resources will be accessible throughout the exam by clicking on the open case button that is attached to each question. Within that case study, there are six tabs, the programming requirements tab, a floor plan, the lighting specifications, the NCIDQ exam codes, a conversion equation table, and a help tab that will be available throughout the exam to review the functionality features if need be. When a question, exhibit, or case study does not fit on a single screen, you will need to utilize the page scrolling function. To scroll through the screen, click and drag the scroll bar as necessary. When referring to the resources provided in the case studies, you are able to do a single keyword search within that resource. It is important to note that the search function will locate a term as often as it is used in the document. Therefore, it may require several clicks to get to where you want to be. You may also adjust the size of the different resources within the case study to move the whole case study to a different location on the screen if desired. To move from one question to the next, you should click the next button displayed at the bottom of the screen. To move to the previous page or question within a case study, click the previous button. As you go through the exam, you are able to mark a question for a review by clicking on the mark for review button. At the bottom of the screen, you will be able to revisit these questions at the end of each case study. You cannot, however, go back to a question in a previous case once it has been completed. You will be responsible for managing your own time if you break down the three case studies into equal time frames, that is approximately one hour and 20 minutes on each case study. The amount of time remaining for the examination is displayed at the top right-hand corner of the screen. A warning message is displayed when there is 15 minutes remaining on the exam. There is a note function that can be found in the top navigation area for every question on the exam. To add a comment for a specific question, click on the notes button. The note will be saved for that question only and can be reviewed when returning to that question. During the exam, you will be able to highlight or strike through text in a question that you think is important to refer back to. To highlight or strike through text, click and drag the mouse cursor over the desired text. Click on the highlight button or the strike through button on the top navigation bar. To remove the highlight or strike through, click on the same buttons and select remove. Note that the highlight or strike through feature cannot be applied to background images, case studies, or exhibits. A calculator is available with every question on the tap navigation. The calculator can be used to perform any standard operation for which a handheld calculator is used. The calculator performs basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. If preferred, a handheld calculator can be requested from the test center administrator when checking in to take the exam. Now that the functionality of the exam platform has been reviewed, let's look at the functionality of the different item types on the practicum exam. There are three different types of questions that appear on the practicum exam. These question types are drag and place, hotspot, and fill in the blank. We will demonstrate these different item types using the exam platform. First, we'll look at how a drag and place item functions. For drag and place items, you will be asked to select a symbol, label, or dimension from the box on the left by clicking on the token or label you wish to move. Drag the token and release it when the appropriate spot has been identified. Be as specific as possible in placement of the label. Double check answers before moving on. If you want to select a different token, you are able to put it back and make another selection. The next question type is called hotspot. For these question types, 
you will be asked to place the target on a specific location within the image. When the location has been determined, click to drop the target. Targets can be moved again if you are not satisfied with your answer. The last question type is called fill in the blank. For these question types, you will be asked to provide a numerical response. In some instances, an exhibit will be attached to a question. The exhibit might be necessary to answer the question, therefore exhibits should be open to determine if they are needed. You are unable to zoom in on exhibits. However, you can move them to another location on the screen. Only a number is appropriate when answering these questions. Words or symbols will not be accepted and will generate an error message. Once all questions are completed in the case study, you will be given an opportunity to review that set of questions. All questions, only those marked for review, or incomplete questions can be reviewed when you get to the review screen. It is important, however, to keep an eye out on the timer to ensure not too much time is spent on the review process. Once a case study is completed, you will not be able to access it again. When you get to the end of the exam, you will click on exit and that will end the exam. These are the key functionality features of the practicum exam format. Good luck on the exam.